Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and we're on our third video here exploring a super important concept, and that is utilizing formulas. This shows up on the science test, it shows up on the math test, and it's integral, really, really important to the study of algebra. So let's take a look. It says, in lab class, you measure the temperature of a sample as 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Your chemistry professor asks you to convert that to Celsius for your lab report and gives you the formula below in order to do so. How many degrees Celsius did the sample measure? Okay, so we've got different temperature systems, I'm sure you know. You know, here in the United States, if you're in the United States with me, we mostly use Fahrenheit, except in science lab, usually. Um, but in most other places in the world, they mostly use Celsius. So we need a formula to get back and forth between these two similar systems that use, you know, a different numbering. And so uh, they've been very, very kind for us. They've given us the formula, which is what you should expect. If they have a, a formula they need to use, uh, on the science test, they'll just give it to you. On the math test, there's a formula sheet. But the formulas will not help you if you don't know how to use them. So first step, I always, always, always just have my student copy down the formula. Whether you're writing on paper or your dry erase board, you'll make a lot less errors if you just copy down the formula before you make any changes. Now, go looking through your problem for what you know. Do I have any known values? Let's take a look. It says in lab class, you measure the temperature of a sample as 86 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a known value. I have the Fahrenheit temperature. And what is this problem asking me to find? It's asking me to find how many degrees Celsius. Well, guess what? How many degrees Celsius is the C? So they're asking me to find C, so I'll leave C, C. And 86 degrees Fahrenheit is the F. So instead of writing F in my formula, I'm going to now write 86. And nothing else will change. That's called your substitution step. You plug in any known values, you change nothing else. Notice these two formulas are exactly identical. The only difference is I substituted out F for a known value, 86. And now, I'm going to use my TI30XS to, to uh, simplify the right-hand side of this equation. Notice all I have on the right-hand side of the equation, right of the equal sign, guys, are numbers and operations. Your calculator can, can't handle algebra, but it sure can handle computations, numbers and operations. And you can, in fact, uh, type this entire thing into your calculator just the way you see it. So I want five ninths. So I'm lazy and I happen to know that a fraction bar means the same as divide. So I'm going to press five divided by nine. Then I'm going to open up my parentheses. Your calculator has parentheses, your TI. And then and be sure to use them because if you don't use parentheses here, you just write a time sign, you will get it wrong. So times 86 minus 32. And now I'm going to close my parentheses. Let me just write down for you what I wrote in my calculator. I did 5 divided by 9. Open a parentheses, 86 minus 32. You try typing that as well. You need to get used to this calculator for your test. And I find that that's Celsius measurement of 30 degrees. So uh, how much is 86 degrees Fahrenheit in uh, Celsius? It's 30 degrees Celsius. Great. So again, this is the third video and we're in a series of five videos on this topic. I'm going to get a little deeper, look at a couple more tricky examples uh, on the next few questions of the day. So be sure to check those out. And um, if you have any questions about this or any other GED, math, science, hey, whatever topic, drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.